I suppose that doesn't get any better than this. I don't know if it's bad luck to start a show with a song that's called Doesn't Get Any Better. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's probably bad show business. I don't know. I saw a black wave heavy over me. I saw the for a moment I believed You said you'd save me But I don't want to be saved No, no I just want to be loved And to love
Here's a song from our Lucky Seven album. It's called Hibernate. And um, no, yeah. No. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like our regular shows. <laughs> Somebody wrote a set list and they added two of the the, word, the songs together. So I went to the next one. But in fact, I have to do. Yeah. All right. Hi, we're on television. <laughs> it's all, right. all good. <laughs> so here's another one from the new album, and um, it goes all the, the the subject matter goes all the way back to 1969. Uh, the summer of 1969 when um, Pat and my father passed away very suddenly and unexpectedly. And uh, for anyone who's ever been through a, a tragedy, you know that the, the next day when the sun comes up and life goes on, it's just impossible to think that you can go forward, but somehow you do and you find a way to make new happiness and keep going. So this is about the sunrise on the next day. Uh, it's called Sunrise, August of 69. Well, two... So 
guys are great. Love your band. <laughs> so uh, remember I introduced that song before? Well, now we're going to do it now. So um, this one's called Hibernate, which um, in Dutch is Winterschlaf, right? Winterschlaf. Schlaf. Schlaf. Like sleep. Winterschlaf. No, no, but some people say schlaf. Schlaf? With yeah. F? Schlaf. Like up. Okay. Schlaf. Right. Up. We should have just called it Strofwaffle. That's easier to say. <laughs> it's easy. Easy to remember. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three, four. There's a storm a coming. Feel it in my bones In the sky a humming I should be alone So I will hibernate I'm going underground Some time to spend some time with me This winter down Cause I know the spring will set me free
time with me I gotta hide away We run this winter down I know the spring will set So a few years ago we wrote this song and it was about how we <laughs> felt like uh, in America politically things were starting to go the wrong direction. Turns out we were Boy, right. Boy, were we right. <laughs> <laughs> so first Whoa. of all, let us say sorry about Trump. Trump. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Um, yeah, some strange times we're living through now and we... Uh, we, we wrote this song about our country being the best it can be, just like everyone wants their country to be the best it can be, and to, uh, to stand for the good things. And uh, right now we're in a very challenging time for those of us, all of us who are still carrying the torch for things like kindness and freedom and uh, helping the earth and believing in science and all these things that seem like we have to stick by our guns. You know, We have to stick to what we believe. And um, so this song even now it more it means more even now to us than it did before because it's about trying to find what makes our country great and everyone's country great this one's called trying to find america one two three hey have you seen that elusive girl that used to know Yes, 
Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hey guys. No autographs. I know. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. Hey, listen. Uh, this is this is the audience. You're signing uh, and selling your new album, Into the Morning Blue. Um, I read somewhere it's uh, you were inspired by Barack Obama's new home. Is that true? <laughs> well, we were we wrote the songs in the neighborhood where Barack Obama will be building his new home. Yeah, retirement house or vacation home. Is, is uh, Barack Obama kind of uh, inspiration to you guys? Yes, he always has been. I mean, we all voted for him twice and, uh, you know, we just love the guy. He's him. a great guy. We miss him terribly. <laughs> but now maybe we'll get to see him in Palm Springs when we go write some more music. I heard he is a good kite surfer. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and a body surfer too. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, listen, uh, your last album, uh, Brunch Buffet, uh, was only covers. Now it's actually only uh, new songs you're written by yourself. Uh, why, why, why this choice? Uh, well, usually our albums are written by us. You know, we only every once in a while we'll do somebody else's song. So the the brunch buffet was really a change just for fun to try something different. You know, uh, to do other people's songs that we love and. And it's, it's all artists who you guys somehow admire, right? Of course, and songs that we admire as well. So and things that we want to add our harmonies to. And, and, and what we did was we took probably 50, 60 songs that we all liked, and we just started making it smaller, the list, smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. until we picked those ones that are on that album. There are some songs on this new album which are dedicated to your fathers. Uh, who, who can say something about that? Uh, I mean... It, it just happened to be that this time uh, that we wrote two songs about when we lost our fathers and uh, they're, they're kind of like bookends in a way philosophically for the album and it's, it's just kind of nice it's time you know sometimes songs just come when they come and and so we happened to write these two songs about and now it kind of feels like a, a, a set it's nice because people who don't vanish so much I mean you are all related how, how is this relationship exactly okay well um, we are two sets of brothers and we're all cousins so Pat is my brother he's my brother and then Mark is brothers with Michael and they are and they are cousins they are cousins of Pat and me so our dads were brothers yeah well were your dads also musically like you guys yes very much yeah and in fact all of our uncles Everybody sings, and all of our cousins sings, and and uh, our our dads made records together. We did radio shows in the 1940s and 1950s. They were so. called the Lennon Brothers. Yeah. Not uh, related to uh, the big John Lennon. Uh, somebody said that 200 years ago in Ireland we're from the same <laughs> county, so we are possibly related, but we haven't. We don't say that. <laughs> you guys have been touring uh, in Holland uh, now for almost 18 years. Um, what is your bond with this country? I think, I think the Dutch people really appreciate harmony and they appreciate the things that we write about. And uh, especially we were, giving, we were given such a chance by Yandawa Krushka with Tve Mater Sessis. Uh, it's, it's a very famous uh, te television show here yeah. in Holland. And it gave us a chance to go from playing in a club for a few hundred people to being in the living rooms of millions of people on television. And it really gave us that chance. And so that's why we've developed a friendship with with everyone. It's not about having a hit song or how old we are or anything. It's about a relationship over the years that we've developed. You also have a bond with this kind, with this part of country, with Twente. It goes back to 2000 uh, during uh, the big disaster in Enschede where the <laughs> firework uh, uh, fabric exploded. Your song, The Family Tree, is very tied to that. Yeah. Hey, how, 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 how did it come like that? 
Well, I think it, it was a sad coincidence that, that it happened around the time where our song came out and the people of this area really embraced it and used it for that uh, memorial service and ceremony. And we even had, um, they wrote a Dutch version in the Dutch dialect that our choir sang for us as well and gave us a, a certificate. It was beautiful. So it's just really touched their hearts and it touches our hearts that they accepted it and that, that it brings them comfort. Yeah, because, you know, the, 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 the disaster has never been forgotten. It's still remembered every year. It's crazy. Yeah. They, they even planted a, a Venice tree. Yeah, family uh, in tree. The, in one of the parks close to the, the where the accident was. And, uh, and it's the family tree there. So it's really nice. Branches in the wind Still standing here together One more storm to weather We'll get through it yet So we're gathered here Holding on to each other To let go of another one We won't forget now as we say goodbye to one of our own We may be lonely but we're not alone Though the leaves will fall and the tears will flow May it always comfort us to know Family tree will always grow. Father down to son, mother to daughter, thicker than water we are made of this. From the earth we rise To the earth returning We'll keep a candle burning For the ones we'll miss And when we say goodbye To one of our own We may be lonely But we're not alone and the tears will flow May it always comfort us to know The family tree will always grow Stronger than the wind can blow Thank you. So I mentioned we have a new album out. It's called, the album is called Into the Morning Blue, and we're really excited about it. And um, we're actually going to do the title song now. And it's another song about uh, uh, a time when we lost one of our parents, when they lost their father um, another 30 years after we lost ours. And uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful song. Uh, we're really proud of it the vibe and everything. And by the way, we want to thank the guys for playing with us. This is Andre Kemp on percussion. Yeah. He plays, yeah, he plays with a band called the Dutch Eagles, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. <laughs> and uh, back here on the bass guitar, you can barely see him back. Oh, but he's got his own close-up. Wow, he's very serious. <laughs> very uh, serious. <laughs> wow, this is Mr. Mark Harris. Ha, ha, ha.
It's almost like a Shakespearean actor, isn't he? Very good character you had there. Look at that. Very serious. All right, into the morning blue. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Mother, I could hear you from my bedroom Calling like an early morning song But I figured it out without a doubt That something was gone from you You were calling me out Calling me out into the morning blue. Mm -hmm. Papa. By the way, I, sh I guess I should introduce the rest of us for those of you watching at home that don't know who we are. <laughs> uh, on guitar and vocals over there, that's my big brother, Pat Lennon. Hi. <laughs> on vocals here, this is our cousin, Mark Lennon. <laughs> my name is Kip Lennon. <laughs> Don't mess with my brother. What, is, what does Kip mean? Uh, yeah, I know. I'm in the country where Kip means chicken. Yeah. <laughs> we just spent some time in France and Germany and, and uh, Denmark, and it's like, it's just a name, Kip. Then I come back here and say, my name's Chicken Lennon. <laughs> I am. Um. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, right. Uh, the man you think I am. Um. Uh, on guitar and vocals over here, this is Mark's brother, our cousin, Michael Lennon. And you know, there are, uh, there are many ups and downs in being in show business and uh, what, we, what we call feast and famine, you know, it's like a roller coaster. And, uh, but one of the things we realize is that over the years is that there are many kinds of wealth. There's many kinds 
of ways of feeling rich. And uh, sometimes it's not just about money, it's about experience or about who you surround yourself with. So we wanted to write a song about that feeling. This is called A Wealthy Man. One, two, three, four.
We made it. <laughs> Good, really nice. By the way, if you uh, if you ever have to do a television show for a million people at home, and if you <laughs> and then you forget to bring a shaker, just go to the kitchen <laughs> and get a coffee cup, and then ask the nice people who work in the kitchen for some rice. And you put it in here. Huh? Pretty good, wow. Kip. Pretty exciting stuff. You should go into the rice business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andre Kemp, for that joke. <laughs> clap this is a crazy song about all the types of things you do for a kiss One, Thank you, everybody. This has been really cool. We're, uh, we've used up our time, I think, but we have time for one more song. And um, we are just so life. grateful to have this friendship with you guys that's lasted for so long. Without you guys, it means nothing. It's all about what we do together. So thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you.